Hey, hey, I'm Cam Day. Welcome to the channel and to today's video. It's truly a pleasure to have you. I'm so happy you're here. And for my regular subscribers, thank you for putting up with me. Um, I've had a hard time being consistent with my uploading schedule, but we're back for now. So thank you. Just, you know, trying to overcome my strong emotions. It's a hard task, but we are here and it is all good. I'm excited about today's video. Surprise, surprise. Um, it's really going to be primarily a demo, um, a foundation demo. So I'm going to try and keep it as short and sweet as possible. This was kind of inspired by me going through my um, foundation collection, and this isn't all of it, but I realized I was like, I don't actually have that many foundations because, of course, shopaholic me and like wanting everything me has been looking online and following all these brands and being like, oh, I want to try that. I want this. I want that. But also conscious me is trying to focus on what I do have and actually use it up. Okay, that's the whole point of it all. And then I can reward myself with something once I actually use something old. So anyway, in going through this stash, I found this foundation stick. It's the Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick from Bare Minerals. Now, I'm not sure if you've used many Bare Minerals complexion products in the past. Um, this is actually the only one that I've used now that I think about it, but I discovered this a couple years ago. I want to say about two, and I have gone through, I want to say three, three, two or three tubes of this. And I was working at Glossier at the time that I was first found this out and if you're one of my Glossier girls or if you even came into the store at one point and asked me about my foundation, I raved about it and I got so many people that I worked with to buy one of these and they all told me the same thing. It's amazing. It just is and I'm going to show you. So that's the point of this demo to have you witness the amazingness because I realized that I haven't used this in a while and I was like, why not? Because I realized in the summertime it was too light for me. But now it's perfect, okay? So first let's talk about it. It's got, um, it does have SPF in it. It's broad spectrum SPF 25. Now I wouldn't say that that's the full amount of coverage that you're gonna need. So I would do your regular skin prep, do some sunscreen, and then just have this as a bonus. But I'm not gonna get too much more nitty gritty. I just want you to see what we're working with. So here she is, it's a stick. Wow. These are my little acne scars that we're working with. And I'm just gonna do a couple swipes. So I realize, I'm dropping stuff, but what's new? I realize a lot of people aren't foundation stick people because they're used to foundation sticks being really dry and really full coverage. So when you put them on, you almost have to like tug at your skin for it to really be effective and it feels too thick and too cakey. I get it. So as you can see, it glides on really, really easily, and it also blends really, really easily without a lot of pressure, without a lot of tugging. I prefer to use a dense, fluffy brush like this. I've used a couple different kinds. I've tried using sponges. I just noticed that a brush like this works the best. I would definitely say that this is layerable. The first layer, as you saw, is kind of light, it's thin. When you put it on, it's very cooling. It almost feels like water, like a really nice cool sensation on the skin. But I just really like how buttery it is. It glides on so effortlessly and is so, so, yeah, buttery is the word. It's just delicious. And especially now while I'm trying to get some coverage but still have my skin breathe a little bit or at least feel like it can breathe and not have it get too caked up or fill too much of my fine lines throughout the day. I remembered this is the formula that does it for me. I really am mad at myself for just using this again now because of how much I love it. You can see that it leaves a little bit of a sheen, just the slightest, like a healthy skin glow. I have a really light moisturizer on. I actually don't have any of my regular SPF because I just washed my face because I was trying on some other of my older foundations. And then I was like, I gotta show the people this one. So I have a really light foundation or skincare on, moisturizer, so it's not very emollient, not very dewy. And this is the finish. It's light. It's got a little bit of a reflectivity to it. I totally missed my chin. That's where I get some pretty bad breakouts. 
but it just is so easy to apply and I love, I'll even do it on the under eyes. Normally I just will put concealer there, but just so you can see the coverage. I wouldn't normally use this under my eyes, again, just because I am a concealer. I need a drier, more full coverage concealer, but just so you can see for the full demo of this, what it actually looks like and what it could potentially look like on you because it has really nice coverage and it's really good for those truly like no makeup makeup days. It does a really good job of just evening out your skin, making it look really healthy without looking cakey. Like I'm going to try and get in as close as possible. I have a lot of stuff here on my desk that's avalanching. But so yes, you can still see I have texture. And if I wanted to, I could spot treat with more foundation or with a concealer, but it's not, I hope you can see this detail. I didn't get too close to my nose yet, but it still looks like my skin. It's just toned down the discoloration, the redness, and it's great. Because it is a little bit dewier and you can see it's pretty shiny under my eyes, I would recommend if you do just want to do foundation, put a little powder down, but it does, it's like an instant enhancement and it's very, very comfortable. Now, I definitely wouldn't say it's like got the most longevity if you're supposed to be wearing a mask under it. Um, but you know, I think we have to do a lot of tailoring to our looks with masks as part of our day to day anyway. But I gotta tell you, I love this. It's so easy to apply. It's, it just feels good. It doesn't feel heavy. Uh, she's butter. It's butter. So if you're not a foundation stick kind of girl, I highly recommend trying this and letting me know your thoughts because I have a feeling it'll change the game. And I noticed because I was scrolling dermstore.com that this is one of their sale items. So it's 20% off with an extra 10%. I'm not sure how long that um, sale is going on for and I hope, it's, I hope it's still lasting. I promise you, you should try it and I hope it changes your life the way that it did for me. That's all I have for you beautiful people. I don't, I can't say anything else other than I love it and I'm bummed that I waited to try this out. Like I've bought other foundations before I use this one again. I don't know why, I love her, she's amazing. It feels like me, it looks like me and I cannot describe it any further. Please give it a try, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, take care and be well. Love ya. Bye.